Thank you, Mr Assistant President. I rise today to speak in support of the Trans Transport <coughs> Administration Amendment Sydney Metro Bill 2018. The bill establishes Sydney Metro as a statutory corporation responsible for metro services and assets through all stages of the project and for revitalising areas around metro stations. <coughs> This bill is another step forward in delivering world-class transport services and vibrant precincts to communities across Sydney, such as we are seeing unfold in the North West. But, Mr Assistant President, if you believe those opposite, the sky is falling. In the other place, they have claimed this bill is about everything from fattening Sydney Metro up and selling it off to the highest bidder, to a vehicle for overdevelopment, as we just heard from the Honourable Ernest Wong, to a trick to hide information and a scheme to privatise buses. Is there a conspiracy theory tick, 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 that tick. they are yet to claim? <laughs> Mr Assistant President, uh, let me make it clear enough for even those opposite to understand. Under this bill, Sydney Metro will remain within the transport cluster and will become an operating agency similar to Sydney Trains, New South Wales Trains and to the Roads and Maritime Service. Taxpayers will remain the owners of Sydney Metro. While Sydney Metro will be able to acquire, build and dispose of Metro assets, it will not be able to dispose of the Metro system itself. Sydney Metro will also be subject to existing requirements for any closure and disposal of railway lines under Section 99A of the Transport Administration Act 1988. As both the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure and the Parliamentary Secretary have already noted in the other place, Sydney Metro will be subject to appropriate accountability requirements that apply to similar, similar statutory bodies. This includes requirements to prepare financial reports to comply with the Public Finance and Audit Act 1983 and being subject to annual audits by the New South Wales Auditor General. Despite that, those in the Labor Party, namely the member for Strathfield, have also claimed in the other place that this bill is about hiding information and avoiding compliance with the Government Information Public Access Act 2009. That is wrong. Completely wrong. In fact, Sydney Metro will be subject to the Gipper Act, as well as the Privacy and Personal Information Prote Protection Act 1988. I say to those opposite, including the member for Strathfield and others in this chamber, rather than hiding, we are proud of our investment. We are proud of our investment and delivery of the Sydney Metro, a project that Labor only ever talked about. Talk is cheap, Mr Assistant President. We are a government that time and time again has proven itself capable of delivering the infrastructure for tomorrow's Sydney, for tomorrow's New South Wales. As a statutory corporation, Sydney Metro will remain subject to all relevant government strategies, policies and approval processes, including planning consultation pathways. As a further accountability mechanism, Infrastructure New South Wales will continue to, to, to provide independent assurance oversight of Metro projects. Further, Sydney Metro will be required to prepare and deliver corporate plans. These will be subject to public consultation and Sydney Metro will have to take into account any public submissions it receives before plans are finalised. With Sydney Metro remaining in public hands, Mr Assistant President, it will be subject to directions issued by the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure and Transport for New South Wales and will be required to supply the Minister with information about its activities. Mr Assistant President, Sydney Metro will have an expert board to help it deliver a world-class metro system that meets the need of the community both now and into the future. In the other place, again, the member for Strathfield demonstrated an obsession with who may be appointed to that board. She chose to ignore the important role it will play in delivering public benefits. Mr. Pres Mr. Assistant President, establishing an experienced decision-making decision board with appropriate skills and expertise in this area is appropriate and necessary to maximise the benefits of the New South Wales Government's significant investment of public funds while exhibiting a sense of social responsibility and also a regard for the interests of local communities. The directors of the Sydney Metro Board will be subject to the government's re government requirements set out in Schedule 2B of the Transport Administration Act 1988, including the requirements relating to disclosure and management of pecuniary interests. 
the board will also operate consistent with broader government objectives and policies of the organisation. The world-class metro system is going to make it much easier for commuters travelling from regions like the Central Coast and the Hunter, who travel to Macquarie University and surrounding business parks every single day. Currently, these students and business commuters have a wait of up to 15 minutes at Epping <coughs> Station for a train into Macquarie University Station. When the Sydney Metro opens next year, the maximum wait will be reduced to just four minutes. As I said earlier, this bill is another step forward in, in delivering world-class transport services and vibrant precincts to communities across Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Transport-oriented precincts do so much to improve the communities where they are and that we live in. In 2015, the New South Wales Government purchased the store site at Wickham with the intention of transforming it into an essential transport piece of infrastructure. Last month, the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure was in Newcastle to announce the selected design for the development of the fully integrated development solution next to the Newcastle interchange at Wickham. The design looks great and has been well received in Newcastle. This is the kind of precinct that this bill envis envisages to be built around Sydney metro stations. Mr. Mr Assistant President, this bill is about setting up a New South Wales government agency focused on delivering world-class metro systems now and into the future, which is something that all in this place should welcome. I commend the bill to the House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.